Okay, today we're going to do a Whirlpool lid switch defeat. This is the down and dirty, quick and dirty version of it. Nothing special. This is a newer Whirlpool washer. You will need to open the control panel. I will not show you in this video how to do that. There are plenty of videos on YouTube that will show you how to do that. Your lid switch is either going to be located here or here. The wire you don't want to touch is the green wire. That leaves the gray and the white on this machine. So those are the ones that we're going to do. And I'm going to take them right here and I'm simply going to cut them one at a time. The machine is, of course, unplugged for my safety and her pleasure. We'll pull these out just to make it a little bit easier to work with because these are the wires we need. Oop, there we go. Oh, that's got gook on it, but that's all right. Um, the green wire can stay connected, that's not going to hurt anything. These wires don't matter if they even short to the case, which is painted, so it's not mattering because there's no voltage ever going through these. The voltage is coming through these wires. We're now simply going to strip these with my cruddy, cruddy wire strippers that aren't sharp anymore. I apologize about the background noise, but I'm on location. And this is what you get in customers' houses, so... Do that. The owner of this machine has consented to do this and wants to do this. Even though she has a little one you just saw, she knows better than to stick the kid in the washing machine or to run it when the kid is running around. Twist the wire strands together. Put the wires together and give them a nice little twist and take a wire nut or a morette if you're in that part of the world that pulls in that. I think there's a bigger one in here. These have been around for many, many years. I'll screw that on. So it's tight. And just for extra, extra safety, take some electrocated tape and tape that up real good just to make sure that the wires and the wire nut will not come loose at any time. So we'll just tape that up thusly. And that's all you have to do, folks. That's it. Just leave that in there, and it'll stay. Everything is insulated and safe, so no worries about it. This can stay connected. It's just an extra ground wire at this point, so it won't hurt anything. And again, these wires you don't even have to tape up because there's no voltage on them whatsoever. Hopefully this video helped you out. And if it did, please consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks very much for watching, and have a good day.